What is up guys, this is Victor, DIY Time Channel, and welcome back to part number two of my review of Mirror Dash Camera Akaso DL12. If you missed the first part, be sure to check it out right here, where we unboxed and installed the camera. And in this episode, we're gonna take a look at all of the features of this camera and review the quality of the test footage. All right, let's get straight to it. As soon as you start the car, the camera automatically turns on and starts recording. And on the screen, you're gonna see a split view of what's being recorded through the front and rear camera. You can also change what's being shown on the display by swiping to the left on the touch screen. And you can choose between front camera, rear camera, or both. Also, you will notice that image is cropped on this display, and you can choose which section of the image to show by swiping a finger up or down on the left side of the screen. And you can change the brightness of the display by swiping up and down on the right side of the screen. This camera has only one physical button and it's used to turn the display on or off and everything else is gonna be controlled using a touch screen feature. By swiping to the right, you can access and review all of the pictures and videos from the front and rear camera. I think it's really nice to have this ability to play back the videos if you ever need to prove anything or resolve a dispute right there on the spot. And from here you can also delete any files you would like. Another pretty cool feature is ability to use this device as a backup camera, especially if your car didn't come with one from the factory. You can use included trigger wire and connect it to the reverse light, and every time you put your car into reverse, the image from the rear camera will show up on the display. And one of my favorite features of this camera by far is using it as electronic rear view mirror. You can basically turn on the rear view camera on the display and if you have your camera installed on the trunk lid of your car, you get really nice and unobstructed view of what's happening behind. Because now you remove this distance inside the cabin of your car and only see what's being recorded in the very back of your car. And if at any point you're not seeing clearly what's happening behind your car, you can simply turn off the display and use a regular mirror. Next, let's take a look at all other features of this dash camera, but because of the reflections on the screen, I'm gonna record the next segment of this video in my garage in complete darkness so you could see it better. When the dash camera is turned on and you tap on the screen, you can see all sorts of information, such as red dot indicating that recording is in progress, 2K means video resolution, the recording time, date and time, GPS, G sensor and parking mode indicators, the icon for the rear view camera, microphone status indicator, and the battery status indicator. In addition, the GPS module is gonna determine and display your current driving speed on the display. Also, there is a button to mute sound. This feature could be very useful when you're talking to someone and you don't want your conversation to be recorded. Next, there is a button to take a picture. And right in the middle here, there's a button to start or stop video recording. If you tap on this lock button, it's gonna save the video that's currently recording and it's not gonna get deleted even after your SD card is out of memory when you have loop recording enabled. Now let's go into the settings menu and see what options are available there. First, you can change resolution for video recording. You can choose between 2K 1080p or 1.5K 1080p. One of the reasons why you may want to do this would be if your microSD card storage is running too low. The second option is a loop recording. Here you can choose how long each video clip is going to be. One, three or five minutes. Next, you can choose to turn audio recording on or off. Next, you can choose the sensitivity of G-sensor between low, medium, or high. This sensor is measuring G-force, and in case of an accident, it's gonna get triggered, and it's gonna record and never delete the footage at the moment of the impact. You can enable parking guard, and if your car gets hit in the parking lot, the G-sensor is gonna get activated, and the dash camera will record everything and save that video clip. Next, you can disable screen saver, or set it to be one minute or three minutes. 
you also have an option to choose video encoding codec between H.264 and H.265. If that's something important for you, you can also choose a screen refresh frequency between 50 or 60 Hertz. If necessary, you can flip the image of the rear view camera based on how it's installed in your car. Under key voice, you can choose whether or not you want sound to play every time you tap on the screen. You have four options to choose from for the speaker volume. You can also turn off that chime sound that plays every time the dash camera turns on. You can choose to disable streaming media, which means every time when dash camera turns on, nothing is going to be displayed on the screen and it's going to look like just a regular mirror. This dash camera supports multiple different languages. From here, you can adjust date and time. You can also format your SD card. Reset your device to factory default state and look up the firmware version. Next, there is an option to test a GPS module to make sure it's functioning properly. If you scroll down a little more, you have an option to change the time zone. And finally, you can calibrate the speed provided by GPS module in case it's a little bit off. All right, that's all as far as the features go. And next I'm going to include a couple unedited files so you can check out the quality of the videos, pictures and the sound of this dash camera. In my opinion, it looks pretty decent, but you can judge it for yourself as well. Here you go. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments section below. 
Also be sure to check out the link for this camera. And I'm going to try to find and provide discount code for this camera in there as well. Don't miss that. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.